It's late season now in Iowa. Cooper's in town. He's gonna film me for the next couple days. Um, I want to shoot the bow real quick. Make sure we're good. Make sure we're dialed, and uh, we're gonna head out to the blind. Fine. What's going on, everyone? We uh, we just got here. Cooper's running cam. It is so cold. We're running a little late. We're gonna hurry up and get dressed, get out in the blind. This is, we're gonna be sitting in a blind really close to where I shot tried a week or so ago. We're out in the blind. It is so cold. It's, it says it's 22 right now. This morning it was like 10 degrees. It's gonna get down in the single digits tonight. We're sitting in the hay bale blind. I actually shot Trident probably 100 yards this way, and then like 100, 120 yards farther is the, the other blind, the other redneck. So with the wind, we're kind of playing it marginal. It's going to like hug them. So as long as they're in the field and they come from that way, we'll be good. If they kind of button hook us around, it might get kind of hairy. So we'll see. We're after quite a few deer. A lot of deer showed up and stuck around. The big 12, the big nine, this new buck showed up. He's like a big 11 pointer, never seen him before. Lefty, he actually showed up in daylight yesterday over in front of this redneck. We'll see, it's just kind of a mixed bag. It's just a matter of if they're gonna be close enough to this blind or not. All right, everyone. I guess this is uh, day number two with Cooper here. It's kind of, I'm only home for, we had yesterday, today, tomorrow, and Saturday. So, you know, a few days of hunting before I gotta head out, um, go do some ultra view stuff. So, it's day two of our hunt, I guess. We had the big nine last night, we didn't get him on camera because he was like 200 yards away, but he came out right in front of the blind we are in now. Walk right by about 30 yards. Um, he met up with those other bucks, the big nine, or I think we're, we keep calling them big white nine, nine. The white nine we're calling them, and then that, that other pretty three-year-old 10 point. They came up, they were all right here, a lot of deer right here. They definitely like this side of the field more than that side of the field. Um, but we got a good south wind today. Yesterday we had a northeast, had to sit over there, so. We'll see, it's just a gamble game, late season like this, if they make it out into the field before dark, if, you know, depending on what deer, you know, what they do at night. There's this cornfield, there's a cornfield across the road, so they just kind of shuffle around on all the food right now. So we'll probably see some deer here in about an hour. It's like two o'clock right now, so three, 3.30, we saw deer yesterday. Sit back, enjoy the, uh, the shelter of the cold elements. Glad we're not in a saddle or a tree stand right now. We got deer in the field coming out. It's uh, pretty windy this afternoon. It's about 10 mile hour winds. I'm trying to figure out what the other four went. All right, guys, it's December 31, New Year's Eve. We have a huge weather system rolling in like early tomorrow morning and tonight. Um, so I'm really hoping that deer are gonna be on their feet tonight. It's two o'clock, just after two o'clock, and we already have does out in the field. So I'm hoping it's a good sign that stuff's gonna be moving early. Um, our wind is kind of like a north wind, just super marginal, so we're trying to keep the window shut. Um, got those onyx running and whatnot. Just really hoping we can get away with this marginal wind. So, 
Hopefully some bugs pop out before darkness. Because last night, right at last light, a bunch of deer piled all around us. We had to wait in the blind an hour. So we'll see. Hopefully some deer moving tonight. Welcome to the Winter Wonderland. Today is New Year's Day. We are getting a not so tropical storm. It is snowing. We're supposed to get anywhere like five to eight inches, they're saying. It dropped uh, 40 degrees, like it's it's zero degrees right now. Um, and with the wind chill, I mean, you're probably feeling negative 10, negative 20 because it's 20 mile an hour winds. But we are going to nestle up in this blind and hope for the best. This is kind of like my last hunt for the week. I got to run down to Atlanta tomorrow. Um, and then I'll have like the last two days of season right after ATA show. So I am really hoping something uh, like, a, like a miracle happens tonight pretty much. In the blind, it is cold, boys and girls, and windy. The snow actually stopped. It's not snowing right now. Um, really hoping the wind dies down though, right? You know, last hour light or so, because I don't think these deer are really gonna want to get out in this crazy wind. But we're tuckered in. We could not be sitting outside right now. It would be nuts. We'll see. This cold weather. Hopefully, it gets them kicked out in this field. Really hoping for a miracle on this one. Deer are piling in. We got quite a few working towards us right now. No shooters yet. That nice 10 point came in. He's just a three year old, but he's a stud. It is currently, it's four degrees. Feels like negative 17. I'm freezing in here. I really wish I brought a heater of some sort, but all these deer are piling in right now. January 10th, last day of archery season in Iowa, and the last day of last day of 2021-ish season, even though we're already in 2022. Ended up going down to Atlanta all of last week. We had ATA this last weekend, so I haven't hunted in like a week and a half. Um, just barely made it back to hunt tonight, but really good conditions tonight. There's already um, two deer in the field, bunch of turkeys in the field. So we're gonna sit back. Hopefully we can, hopefully we can enter the new year with a thwack or a bang. However, uh, however you see that, but hopefully a thwack with the bow. I knew the wind was gonna be a little, little tricky this afternoon. It's northeast wind, but it's only like one mile an hour. Somehow, Big 12 just came out and probably got my wind from 200 yards away. That would have been so perfect if he came out like right in front of us, plenty of light, but obviously that didn't happen. Maybe they'll swing back around in the woods and pop out.
Holy cow. Well, that's the end of the season. What a way to go out with it too. We had a really good encounter. The big 10. And he walked by about five, five or 10 minutes past legal shooting time. Literally watched him just on the other side in the field for a half hour. He jumped the, jumped the fence, came into the field, and then worked his way all across the field. But it was already past legal shooting time when he was all the way over, and then he just made a beeline straight for the blind. But good end to the season. What a ride. Definitely the most encounters with bucks I've ever had. Most experiences, most experiences I've ever had. So really fun time. And until next year, have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.